Alrighty. Alexa, That's share your story. <laughs> Sound cool. Okay. My name is Alexa DeVries, and this is my God story. On August the 8th, 2002, I was born into a Christian home. Yes, Grandpa, my birthday is always first. Um, anyways, my Christian family consists of my mom, my dad, my older brother James, and my younger sister Kira. And we lived in a nice little house in Brantford. I accepted Jesus into my heart at a young age. Um, well, a younger age, anyway. As most little children, I never truly took the, under the time to understand what it meant. It was more like, can we watch a movie in Sunday school and, uh, instead of the teacher going on and on about the big man in the sky? When I was six, my mom and my dad got separated, and I didn't see my dad for six months. When I look back, this made me question my faith. I blamed God, but I blamed myself more. Part of me thought I wasn't good enough, and that's why I didn't see my dad. Later, I became to speak up for what I wanted, afraid to speak up for what I wanted. I felt no matter what I say or did, I wouldn't be heard, and I would get in trouble. This is how I saw God. My parents had gotten separated because of me was often my train of thought. Finally, when I was seven, my parents got back together, but it already made an irreversible impact on my life. My family of five needed a new start, so after attending Woodside for a few months, um, we moved to Elmira when I was in fourth grade. Um, I never felt like I fit in here. I had one friend who at school would hang out with her other friends, and I was afraid to talk to them. Time passed, and in grade seven, I made new friends. Uh, one in particular made a huge role in my life. She taught me that I shouldn't try to fit in with everyone. I should be myself, be authentic. But I, of course, was once again too scared. She and I would be in shows together, laugh during the sad parts in movies because we had too much junk food, and, would often talked about our and often would talk about our faith. This would be the first time I actually thought more about God. Here at Woodside, I started to feel moved. I wanted to be changed and no to no longer be afraid, but I was too afraid to make the change, so I continued hiding in my little shell, afraid to let anyone in. This continued till high school. Grade nine was the most difficult year of my life. I had pushed all my emotions down for so long that they were starting to catch up to me. I started lashing out at others and felt empty inside. My friends were rapidly leaving and I sought to control the ones I had left. I wanted to have complete control over everything around me. I was mad at myself, I was mad at others, but mostly I was mad at God. Um, oh boy. Uh, I blamed him for everything. I remember the day clearly when things started to change. Things were slowly changing. But one day, when I had so many things to do and not nearly enough time to do it, I started to panic. Suddenly, in the middle of that moment, I was immediately calm. I felt the presence of God come and tell me that everything was going to be okay. I went to the back of my Bible and looked at verses on fear and came across Deuteronomy 31, verse 6, which reads, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. My name is Alexa DeVries, and this is my God story. God has blessed me in a crazy way. I am not perfect, nor will I ever be. I am a proud daughter, sister, and cousin. I can be glad. I can be carefree. I can be sad and I can be fearful, but I know that Jesus' long-lasting love will be with me forever and wherever I go, and he accepts me, accepts me for who I am uh, and draws me to be all that I can be. That is my God story. I'm going to invite uh, Lex's dad up to come and share a verse and, and pray for her. Thanks, Dave. Mm -hmm. Sweetheart, we're very proud of you. It's, uh, it's great to see you making this step, even in spite of our imperfections as parents, that God's reached out and grabbed your heart and that you are moving forward to serve him and that he is the center of your life. It's wonderful. The verse your mother and I have chosen is, who should step? It's from Romans 8, um, 31, 30 or it might be 35 or 39, I'm sorry. Who should separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble or hardship or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword? As it is written, for your sake, we face death all day long. We consider it as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all of these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, nor angels nor demons, nor the present nor the future, nor any powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus. Let's pray. Father God, you are a great God. You have blessed our lives. You have blessed Alexa's life, and we have seen great change in her life in the last year and a half as you have worked in her heart. 
Dear God, we thank you for Alexa. We're proud of her. We pray that you will continue to show yourself to her, to grab her heart, and to be near to her. Dear God, thank you for your gifts. For Jesus' sake, amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Alexa, on the confession of your faith, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. 